Hey, this is Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com and I have a product to show you today and that is my first telescope from Educational Insights. Great little STEM product to get kids excited about look, taking a look up into the sky, taking a look at the moon, learning about the phases of the moon, things like that. It's a very simple uh, little telescope and this is for Andrew. It's his first telescope. And some of the features of it, there are two large eyepieces uh, with comfy goggle and nose cutout, uh, 10x magnification, images appear right side up, no left right correction, no focusing required, uh, simple setup, tabletop tripod, lens cap, multilingual guide that illustrates the phases of the moon. So, I mean, we don't, he's, he's learning Spanish, but you know, we don't, we don't know Spanish, but if you were Spanish speaking, this would be a good one for you because, for the little one, because it is multilingual, the book. So this is something that was sent to me by Educational Insights. Uh, my review of it here, this is the product outside of the box. So this is the telescope itself. This unscrews so that you can take this part off. This is the tripod, folds up. And it is, it's a tabletop tripod. So you're going to be taking a look at this through various, you know, out on say the, the backyard picnic table or something like that, take a look up into the sky. Now today would have been a great day for this had we been in a spot where we could see the super moon. Unfortunately, I didn't see the super moon until 7.30, 8 o'clock where it was up way too high in the sky. I kept going out. I started at five o'clock just, you know, trying to get out there and see if I could get the super moon because I had my camera and tripod to get out and take shots of the moon, but it was already way too high. It wasn't too big. And that's the biggest super moon supposedly that was coming by uh, in 48 years or since 1948. I don't know. It has something to do with 48. And uh, I didn't get to didn't get to see it last night. Uh, they think they said that then this this morning, Monday morning at five something or six something, uh, the moon was supposed to be the closest it was going to be, and that was having it come back down to 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 set for the set for the day. And um, I was at work, so I did not get to see that. I got to see it through trees, and tonight we got to see it through trees. And Andrew did try to take a look through this, but it'll be nice to, for us to bring us down to the Cape and where we stay up a little bit later during the summer and be able to see the moon because it'd be unobstructed over the water, things like that. It'd be fun for, for them to to both take their two telescopes. Eva has the more advanced telescope and that's from Educational Insights as well, but it's the Nancy B telescope, which is uh, actually it's, um, no, yeah, it's a telescope. And she'll have that and Andrew will have this and then they can enjoy that uh, on the Cape. It's a nice little product, and uh, he had he had fun with it. It's part of the Geo Safari Junior line, and yeah, they sent this uh, to us uh, a while back, right after Sweet Sweet, which was in July. So it's been a long time for me to get a chance to do this. And actually, I think we'll bring it down to the Cape in Thanksgiving, because now that the nights are getting close you know earlier and we'll be down there at the down there on the cape in two weeks to be able to see out over the water hopefully we'll get to see the moon whether it's the super moon or not we'll get to see this, the moon and andrew already knows his phases of the moon so that'll be nice to do so this is drew bennett from benspark.com you can find me on instagram as benspark twitter as benspark facebook.com slash i'm not a famous blogger and you'll be able to find me here because i do videos every day so thanks for watching